Welcome along to another video. I am That Cycling Chimp. And in this one, I just want to start off the bat by giving a huge thanks to all my subscribers. I've just hit another milestone of 300 subscribers and I genuinely can't thank you enough. Today's adventure, I'm going to start off once again from Newton on Ayr's shore, but instead of going my usual way to Trun, I'm going to head out towards the heads of Ayr. Some of today's destinations I'm going to keep a little bit of a secret just now, so you're just going to have to stay tuned to find out where I'm going. I'm just going to quickly get changed and get the bike set up and head out, so I'll see you guys in the road. Well, today is going to be a challenging one. As you can see, it's pretty windy. I'm heading towards the heads of air. I've just found out the first fatal flaw of the new cycle path down at Newton Air Shore. As you've probably seen, it's all flooded. It's not going to be like that all the time, but it's certainly something to look out for if you're down this way. I've got zero motivation today with the weather, and I hope I'm not going to get soaked with this wave. It is dry, so I've just got to get out and about. Anyway, onwards. I've had to take shelter for a little bit. That wind is absolutely brutal today. We're talking about 45 to 50 miles per hour headwind. It's going to be great getting back home, but uh, it's a bit of a challenge. In fact, today's challenge is staying on the bike. Some say it might be mad coming out and doing this, but I've got to try and get 200 kilometers this month, and I've got about 60 kilometers left before I get to that milestone. I've only got a couple of days left in January to do it, so hopefully today will be roughly about 20 kilometers, maybe 25. I'm pretty close to the destination I was talking about at the beginning of the video, sir. So we're not too far away. Scotland, guaranteed to be blowing a hoolie 300 days of the year. Woo. So I've just come off the Millennium Bridge, going towards Dunfoot. And you can probably guess where I'm headed to if you're from this area. Ah, definitely the top tip of today is do not cycle into a headwind next to the beach because you just get absolutely sandblasted. Even with the buff up, I was getting quite a lot of sand underneath and it, was, well, it, was, it wasn't nice at all. Now this is going to be a new one for me. A very strong headwind and trying to go up a hill and it's quite a steep hill. I think it's about a 7% gradient. I'll see you at the top. That there behind me is the town of Ayr. I'm actually up next to Greening Castle. And some of you will probably think that I was going to Greening Castle, but I'm not. I'm actually staying on the Alloway Railway Path and there's a reason I'm staying in the Alloway Railway Path because it's a clue about where I'm going to. I'm still on the NCN7 and just across me there, that's what's known as the Heads of Air. I don't know why it's called the Heads of Air. If you know, leave a comment below and let me know. I remember from this road used to be an old scrabbly gravel farm track. They tarmacked it because they were putting some new houses in. It's just an absolutely great cycling network round about here. Now that little garden bit and tunnel I just went through, that's a new addition to the NCN7. It actually forms part of a crossroads. It then goes on to a local cycling network, which includes the Alloway Railway track. You can actually go to Cross Hill, Maybole from here, 
you've got to cross over the Carrick Hills, which is a challenge in itself. I'm not going to do that challenge today, but I probably will be doing that pretty soon. If you've not guessed whereabouts I'm going to today, as I said, the clue was Alloway. And depending on when you're watching this video, we either have or we have not celebrated Burns Night. Burns Night's always celebrated on the 25th of January in Scotland. It actually celebrates the birth of Scotland's national poet, Robert Burns. I thought today I would take you out and show you whereabouts he was born, at Burns Cottage. Because there's one or two other destinations and landmarks to look round about there. So if you're still watching, stay with me. Just coming up upon the River Doon and I've got to get through a tunnel. The tunnel itself is an old railway tunnel and it used to be full of graffiti. But that's all going to change soon because they're going to try and do it like the Collington Tunnel in Edinburgh where they're going to paint some murals and make it all nice and tidy. They put some CCTV cameras up and they painted the walls with anti-graffiti paint in preparation. So that is the River Doon below us and it's flowing quite freely because of all the rain that we've had the last couple of days. In the background you can actually see Brigadoon. I'll take these over and over, we look at the bridge pretty soon. It was forever immortalised in the Robert Burns poem Tam O'Shanter. And there's actually a few landmarks round about tie in with that poem. It's one of my favourite poems by Robert Burns. They've actually put up some of the wording from Tam O'Shanter there, which is Mungo's Well, and that's where Mungo's mother hanged herself. If you've never heard Tam O'Shanter, I definitely would have a look online just to hear the poem. It is really good and it's quite a good story too. I've got my own theory about some of the landmarks in the poem that are not strictly round about the area where they're supposed to be, but that's a video for the future. Let's get through the tunnel to the other side, because it's actually above the tunnel that we need to go. And as I say, you can see the difference with the graffiti because there's none. Now I was going to do the full of the Alloway Railway track and double back on myself but I ain't got no water wings for today and I don't plan to be swimming, I plan to be cycling I got very wet in the last video if you remember so I'm going to take the bridge up and go along Port's path and that will bring us out pretty much at the same area So that's us now on Poets Path, just going towards Burns Cottage. And on Poets Path, there's a lot of sculptures depicting some of the scenes that were in some of Robert Burns' most famous work. Work like Tamus, Tamashanta, the Twa Dugs. And here's a question for you. Robert Burns once owned a dog. Can you tell me what the dog's name was? Just let me know in the comments below. And this is Burns Cottage, 25th of January 1759, Robert Burns was born here. He only lived here for seven years and then the family moved to Mount Oliphant to another farm because that's what the Burnses were, they were farmers. He was put to work at a young age. But this has served for quite a lot of things over the years. It, it's always been a cottage but it was also a pub at one time as well. I would take you guys in for a little look, but it's actually closed today. The reason that it's closed is, they always do a Burns Supper, where they have their haggis, neeps and tatties, and it's always celebrities that go to it, so they close the place down, just so that nobody can get in and out. And it's always top celebrities that go. I've heard rumours of Sean Connery, Rod Stewart. I actually heard Tom Cruise visited this once. I don't know if that's true or not. If it is true, let me know. Now behind me is Alloway Old Kirk and this is Old Church that's mentioned in Tam O'Shanter when Tam peered over and seen all the witches and the warlocks dancing. When you directly come into the churchyard, the first gravestone you see is of William Burns. Now William Burns was Robert Burns' father. Robert Burns wasn't buried here, he was actually buried in Dumfries where he died at the age of 37 sadly. The Old Kirk is situated directly across the road from the Alloway Parish Church. Some people get the two confused because the newer one looks a bit more gothic but it's this one here that's in the poem. The strange thing about walking about is seeing all the older style gravestones that you don't really see today especially the ones with the skulls and crossbones on it. But as I said, this is the old church that Tam O'Shant appeared in the window and seeing all the witches and warlocks dancing in the front of the devil himself. And you just kind of think what that would look like. 
يوضل كتي ساك So this is the Brig of Doon that everybody talks about when they're talking about the Tamashanta Poyo. I've actually had to get off the bike because it's quite steep to get up. It's covered in cobblestones and it's quite slippy. The story goes that when Tam was getting chased in his old horse Meg, he had to lout the key stain. Now louting the key stain in Scots dialect basically means he had to go over the middle of the bridge. It's due to superstition. Witches, ghouls and goblins can't cross a body of water. I've successfully come over the key stain, so I hope they're not coming from the other side. Now I don't know if you can see the bridge behind me there, there's another bridge at the opposite side of that, and that's where we were just before we come into the tunnel. That down there is the Brigadoon Hotel. They do a lot of functions and weddings. It's spectacular looking inside. They're actually renovating it just now as well. It's a lovely place to go. They do really good food as well. Looking across that way is Burns Monument. It was opened in 1823 and it's been open to the public ever since. Now Robert Burns is a huge topic to cover in one video. So we'll probably visit a wee bit more of the history in the future. And if you want to know anything, just feel free to ask and I'll get back to you. Talking about Get Back, and it's not the Beatles song, I'm starting to lose light. So I've got to turn back and start heading home. The good thing is, I'm going to have a cracking tailwind behind me. Well, that's us going to the end of another video. If you enjoyed today, give us a huge thumbs up. If you really liked it, consider hitting that subscribe notification button. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye for now.